create a population pyramid in Google Drive through Google Sheets, you need to enter your data as so. You have the ages off to the side, the age cohorts, and when you enter it, make sure that you've formatted the column so that it's registered as a plain text. So number, you need it as a plain text. Okay. Second, you enter your male data using a negative sign and your female data with positive. Chart at the top with uh, the oldest age group at the top and the youngest at the bottom. When you're ready to do your graph, you block off the area that you're going to graph and then you simply insert, chart. From there, you select chart types and you scroll down towards bar and the one that's side by side. From here, you've already got your population pyramid. Now we want to format our axes in our title. If you see at the top, it says males and females. Now we want to eliminate that and put in a title that's appropriate. So now we're going to switch over to customization. Customization, we're going to change that to population pyramid, or in this case, uh, Canada 1851 population pyramid. Now I'm going to change the axis titles. I'm going to start off with a horizontal and name that percentage of population. I'm also going to add my name to it and the date. Enter. Now I'm also going to add a left vertical axis. I'm going to name this age cohorts. As well, what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the minimum and maximum values. So in the horizontal, in this case it's it's negative 10 and positive 10. So it's not a big deal in this one because it automatically glows but if we're comparing our population pyramids to other population pyramids, they may not go as wide based as, as 10. In this case, we have a population pyramid from 2011. We have a maximum of negative 8 and positive 8. So to adjust that, what we're going to do is we're going to enter a negative 10, positive 10. Now we can actually compare our population pyramids, apples to apples, oranges to oranges. Once we have all of our information entered, so we have the titles on both axes, a title at the top, and our legend, we can click insert. So we can copy our chart and then put it in whatever application we want. Control C, Control V. and we can type our analysis off to the side.